Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna try something that I normally wouldn't try, but I'm just curious to see if it would work in statue building and statue painting. And that's this slap chop, whatever the hell it is in miniature painting. So I've been seeing a lot of this on the internet with different mini channels, and apparently it's a new trendy type thing, and I normally don't get into this sort of thing, but I'm just curious to see if it'll work. So uh, we're gonna try it today, and uh, if it works, great. Something maybe you could use, something else you can have in your arsenal of statue painting. So for those of you who don't know what this slap chop method is, and I'm not 100% sure on it because I've seen different takes on it and different ways of doing it, but apparently it's a method of priming your uh, model a black primer first off and then using a, uh, a like a grayish type color or whatever to go in and dry brush in and then on top of that use a white uh, to go and dry brush um, all over the model as well kind of like in a zenithal type effect and then using contrast paints over the top of that did i get that right or did i screw that up at least this is what I saw on the internet. So I'm going to try it. And my candidate for today is a Red Skull here. This is the comic version uh, of Wicked Art's uh, new statue. And I printed this one here in a quarter scale. And today we're going to use the comic head for it just to see if it works. And if it does, great. And if it doesn't, you get to see me screw something up on camera. Wouldn't be the first time. Here we go. All right, so the model I'm going to use is this Red Skull comic version here from Wicked Art. I really hope I don't screw this up because this print turned out really, really well. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to primer it a black with this uh, Vallejo Surface Primer right here. All right, here we go. I'm not a huge fan of black primer, uh, but who knows if this turns out good, then I may use it for more of my models. All right, here we go, it's a black primer, but there's a couple of things that you're gonna need while performing this method. And the first thing is you're gonna need paint. So I'm gonna to opt to use this uh, light gray right here from uh, Vallejo for the first coat. And then I'm gonna to top it off with the uh, off white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this gray and we're gonna saturate the whole entire uh, uh, model here on the raised surfaces and uh, get uh, all of the highlights and everything. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on top of this with the white, not so much saturating it, uh, but just to kind of lightly to hit on the high points and everything. But you're gonna need a couple of dry brushes. And I use these makeup brushes because they're a little bit softer. Uh, they won't leave streaks or anything like that in your model. So definitely get you a couple of them if you're gonna be applying two different coats because you don't want to wet your brushes uh, because then you're not gonna be necessarily dry brushing anymore. Uh, and then what you're gonna do is uh, you know, just use two separate brushes and clean them at the end. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna get into this gray here and get a lot of this off of my brush, dabbing it onto the paper towel, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and get started all right and there we have the gray that's pretty much all over it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off white here and I'm going to apply it, but I'm going to apply it sparingly, mainly up here on the high points where like the nose or the bridge of the nose, the forehead, mainly all these details on the front of the face and probably a little bit on the forehead. All right, so we got the white here and dabbing it a little bit on the paper towel. So one thing I want to point out is you don't want to thin these paints. You just want to put them straight out of the bottle and uh, start going on with it. So now we're gonna apply this white here on some of just the highlights. All 
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a contrast paint. Uh, I'm gonna use this Blood Angels Red from Citadel, and I'm gonna apply it over the top of this and see what kind of effect we get. It is a little bit darker red, um, which gives me the option of going back even further and highlighting the uh, high points on this right here. But we're gonna try this and just see what kind of effect we get off of it. This is my first time doing this, so uh, let's check it out. Okay, everyone, here it is all dry and uh, I'm digging it. I think this is, looks cool as hell. So, wow, you learn something new every day. Uh, you might not be able to tell it on video, but I can definitely tell the, uh, the, how the gray works versus the white and how the white blends out a little bit higher uh, in contrast compared to the gray on the black. Uh, you can really tell it in the back part of the head where it's a little deeper and in the front where it's lighter. Now, what you could do is if you took a little bit of a lighter color contrast paint, lighter than this, like a little bit lighter red, and then highlight over the top of that, you could probably bring that out a little further. But uh, I'm digging it. I think this is a really cool method here. Um, learn something new every day. Uh, definitely, um, I probably, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not, but uh, the, the method, the way it works is pretty uh, simple. Uh, this can help you uh, enhance your models. Uh, if you're not an expert painter and you're looking for a pretty cool effect to put on it, I recommend it. But hey, we're not done. Let's go ahead and finish up this guy here. Let's put the eyes and the teeth in and let's see what old Red Skull looks like when he's finished. All right, and got the eyes done and got the teeth done. The only thing I got to do left is just put the gloss on top of the eyeball and the teeth. All right, guys, and here he is on the uncompleted figure. Uh, just printed this and still have to finish it. But uh, yeah, this turned out really, really nice. And after I sealed it, uh, that color really popped. That red really popped on the uh, highlights and uh, onto the shading and everything. So yeah, turned out pretty good. Um, this is something you can definitely use with your model next time. All right guys, so my final take on this whole process is this. Can you do your whole entire statue like that? Yeah, probably, but is it gonna look good? Probably not. So I mean, maybe you, if you have like a bust or something like that, rather than doing some type of rub and buff, I mean, this might be an option for you. And it also could be an option if you're doing uh, pieces like this uh, head here and, uh, you know, maybe enhance your statue a little bit, but like highly detailed pieces like, let's say something like rocks or fur or something like that, uh, or hair. Uh, there's an idea right there for hair uh, on a figure or something like that. You could definitely use this method. So a couple things I probably would have done a little different is uh, I probably would have used more like a flat brush rather than the brush that I used to actually cover with the contrast paint. I did see a little streaking in it, but uh, I do like the variation of the layers and stuff in it. So it worked out okay, but in some instances, you're probably gonna need to use a flat brush. The other thing that I probably would have done different is instead of an off-white, I probably use more of a cold white or a solid white. I think that probably would have accentuated those highlights just a little bit more and brought that red out on the highlights just, uh, just that much more. And the other cool thing with this is you don't need an airbrush to do it. You can even apply your primer by brush. So yeah, a lot of uh, mini painters use this kind of like an option for speed painting. I don't think you can really speed paint a full size statue, maybe a bust, but uh, a full size statue, especially uh, in this type of method here, uh, this probably wouldn't look all that good. It probably looks sloppy because I think the difference with miniatures is they're small. Uh, they have a lot of uh, detail in them and they, a full size statue is so much bigger and you're gonna be able to spot imperfections like right off the bat a lot more than uh, a, a miniature. All right guys, so you guys know the drill. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave some words in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see in future videos.
And don't forget to hit that notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any future videos. And consider joining my Patreon. I do have two new members this week, Jacob Thomason and Robert Armour. Thank you guys so much for joining the Patreon. And uh, there's a link below in the description if you'd like to join and get on board with our private Discord. And if not, just simply support the channel by watching the next video and uh, maybe sharing it with some people. And as always, everybody, stay safe out there. Get out and create something. Print, print, paint, repeat. And until the next video, we'll see you. Oh, yeah. Hail Hydra. Yep, Cap, they're back.